Hey muchachos and muchachas, it's good to be back with you. This is another in a series of videos about statics and today's topic is single shear and double shear. This is a pretty basic concept. The good news is it's pretty easy to understand and the better news is that you see it every day. You just maybe haven't known to look for it before now. So let's start with the, the kind of the concept, the big idea here. If you have a pin like this or a bolt maybe and you have a force like that on one side and a force like that on the other that's called single shear and the reason it's called single shear is that area there's only one shear area in there the area that divides one side from the other now I said we see these things all the time what's an example well let's take my skateboard I have a really cool aluminum skateboard right and I've got the big 90 millimeter wheels on it. This thing is great. See that wheel right there? If you look in the end, there's a bolt going through that, kind of like that. When I stand on this board, there we go. When I stand on this board, there's a force up from the ground and there's a force from me going this way. So that's, well, basically one quarter of my weight. And there's the, re the reacting force from the ground or the, re the response force from the ground. And that means the bolt there is in single shear. That bolt right there inside my skateboard truck is in single shear, right? So that's what single shear looks like. Well, if that's single shear, what's double shear? Same idea. We've got the same kind of pin or bolt or something there. And now instead of one cross-sectional area that's in shear, now I've got two. There's one. And there's the other one. Well, let's, what do the forces look like? You know, let's see. Let's say I have a force down in the middle and I have forces up on both sides. Okay. So I've got shear there as I go from up, or from up to down and shear there as I go from down to up. That's double shear. And in general, Designers prefer double shear. Single shear, like my skateboard wheel, that bolt is in bending. I'm relying on the, the bending stiffness of that bolt to make thing, the, the uh, skateboard work. And it works fine. It's not a problem. Double shear is a little cleaner, though, because this thing is really only in shear. There's a lot lower bending loads on a pin that looks like that. Well, I made a little model for us to mess with here. I went down to the guitar lab and I cut this thing out here, it's kind of a, it's called a clevis if you want to know what the mechanical thing is. And here's another th uh, link that goes in it. So you can see how they might fit together. Put that in. There's my pin. Push that in there. And there, I've got a link now that's in double shear. If this pushes, let's see, how am I going to do this? Well, I've got a re the signs reversed here. Let's, let's change this to match my clevis here. So if I'm going to pull, pull up and pull down like that, all right, these two, if I can get this open, there we go, these two experiencing a force down, and in the middle there we're experiencing a force up. So that's this right here. Looks just like that. And the way this works, Again, there's my, my little sort of fork looking thing, and there's the, the link that's got the hole in it. Slide that in there, throw my pin in, and there you go. That's double shear. Well, that's nice, but where would you see double shear? Maybe in the real world? Well, I got one of these. This is a little carabiner that I, I, I won one time. And if you look, there's a little tiny rivet in there, a little pin that goes through there. And guess what? It looks kind of like that. Hmm. Where else? Well, here's my scooter. See that right there? There's the wheel. And there's an axle right there. And a wheel in the middle. That wheel's there's going to be about basically half my weight pushing that. Let's put the right side up here. There's going to be half my weight pushing down on the forks and half my weight pushing up from the bottom. Well, guess what? That axle right there is in double shear. If you ever see 
Look at a motorcycle, the front fork or the rear fork on a motorcycle. Bicycle, double shear there too. When you start thinking to look for it, you're going to notice this absolutely everywhere. At Purdue, there are a bunch of uh, construction projects going on, so there's cranes everywhere. Well, the cranes have a, have a hook on the end of the cable. That hook, the ones I see, look like they're in double shear, or sometimes even more. Sometimes there's actually more pulleys on them, but they're at least in double shear. And here's an example. All right. So you can see again, it's absolutely everywhere around you. All you got to do is know to look for it, and now you do. I hope this helps, and we'll talk to you next time.